Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, we are going to run the new Deep Archimedia game mode, and we are going to do a full walkthrough guide, and tomorrow I will have a full walkthrough guide of the Elite Archimedia game mode out, but for today we are going to do regular Archimedia. This is on Sanctum Anatomica, you need to be rank 5 with Cavia, it takes 2 Netracel... I guess, attempts in order to unlock it. So then you run three Netra cells a week and then you run a Deep Arc Media a week, right? So we are going to run this whole mission. We're gonna see how that goes. And from there, we should be good to go. So where Deep Arc Media actually takes place is Necroloid right here. And this is how it works essentially. I'll hide my face cam just for this part. You have to, first off, in order to get more points, Equip the Warframes and weapons it asks of you. It can be a variant such as Prime, Dex, Wraith, but it just have to be the weapon. Then you enable these debuffs, right? Shield recharge delay, transference operate drifter is blocked. That sucks. Uh, lose two health when moving, jumping, pausing effects. Lose two health uh, for each second, enemy within 10 meters of you. So two energy a second. The transference into operator drifter is blocked. That one really does suck. But, in order to unlock Elite Archimedia, you have to have every single one equipped. Luckily, I have Revenant this week, so I am good to go. If not, I would definitely recommend Rolling Guard and some sort of Shield Gate and or other gating. So, yeah! What we have this week for missions is Exterminate, Alchemy, and then Disruption. Should be overall pretty simple, I hope. They do have little debuffs here as well. Necromech Influx, Myoptic Munitions, right? Hazardous Goods, Fortified Foes, pause it if you want to read those. And then Double Demolishers and Hostile Regeneration. So I hope we don't get screwed. When we pop a Demolisher, we should all try to kill them instantly. So yeah. And then once you unlock that, we can run Deep Archimedia for, or I should say Elite Deep Archimedia for next week, right? So. Without further ado, it cost two to unlock it down here. I already unlocked it. You can always click on the tutorial, run that, look through this, look through this. I would always recommend you preset your loadout here so you're not hitting nothing. And yeah, let's run the Deep Arc Media game mode right now. And it looks like one of us didn't have Deep Arc Media unlocked. It looks like they both didn't have Deep Arc Media unlocked properly. Probably because they had to actually click the unlock part for Deep Archimedia, and they didn't realize it, but... Uh, I got, gotta love this. Right, they probably had to click the uh, unlock there, and they didn't unlock it first. I'm not too sure, that's probably how that worked. Either way, get over here, and let's run some Deep Archimedia. And this should be good. Remember, rank 5 with Cavia. Maxed rank, two Netracels. We just got five for unlocking this. Okay, ability use prevented. I'm good to go. So the first one's an elim uh, elimination. So I should be able to melee everyone pretty easily through this. I can't go into operator mode. I don't have tanky defenses unlocked. Yeah, this is actually kind of scary. This would be terrifying without a team, honestly. Because I could get knocked down here. I could see it happening. My damage isn't through the roof. I need to definitely build up my damage more. I don't have full builds on because none of these weapons are weapons I personally use. So I built them up as much as I could. And now we're just going from there. I have, I think, some corrosion on. I have some... Yeah, I got some other stuff on. Oh, you can use on-call crew? Did my on-call crew actually come out? I, I don't know if that worked. On-call crew works, chat. So you're able to use that stuff, so... It's actually not a huge downgrade. I can continually shoot them with my Astilla. I made sure to mod both my melee and my Astilla. So the way this mission works, though, is we're doing all three of the missions. Okay, we're doing all three of them in one go. We are not leaving this mission tile. Okay, that's not an actual enemy, but that's fine. So the first thing we have up here is the exterminate, which is like pretty fairly easy, all things considered. Let me enthrall some enemies now. Now that I have some energy, I think. Can I? Maybe I can enthrall those enemies now that I look at it. 
Is that a Gruzzling? Oh, it's a Gruzzling. I am ter a little terrified for the disruption. I don't know how the disruption might go, to be honest. I just want to kill the Gruzzling. Oh, now he got away. Oh well, not a big issue. Yeah, so this is going to be a little harder no matter what. None of my stuff is fully modded. Spectres are available. Ooh, no Necromech, what? Looks like you can summon your Arc Gun, unless it says otherwise. There we go, let me kill him. Crunch. It's nice that the first mission for the first week is a exterminate though. Get those little arms. Get out of here, buddy. It's so hard to hit them with this little gun. I believe you should still be able to call in the Necromex from the computer. It is a regular old mission, at least for right now. I shouldn't say regular. It's a normal old Deep Archimedia mission. Essentially. It's a normal, but slightly modified, so it's harder. But yeah, I... Let me check if I can spawn, because I probably can. Yeah, it looks like it lets you still. See? Just thought we'd double check that, and yeah, it, it does work, it looks like. I got really lucky, I was able to pick Revenant this week. And uh, one of the modifiers is we can't go into Operator Drifter mode, which is a huge nerf for me because I use Zenric. Uh, for energy and survivability to swap in between my operator and my Warframe mode, but it is what it is. It's not a huge deal. Just sucks a bit, right? I was hoping the Seti Lacera would be a little better, but I don't have, like, a combo build on it. I just have a basic kill. Basic old build. Should still do the trick. Oh god, where did someone get downed? There we go. Right beside me. Whew. That's fine, since they're right beside me. Not a problem. Strips. I think I have a uh, corrosion on, so I'd actually be able to kill some of their armor a little bit. Okay, we're almost done the exterminate part. I think next up is mobile defense, which is actually one of the fairly easier ones we could have gotten. All things considered. I'll enthrall a handful of the enemies like this. And then they just kind of die. The damage I have on these weapons, not through the roof. As much as I wish it was insane. Oh, it's not. It's not a big issue though, but... Ah! Hey, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Thank Rick. Oh my god! Three months at tier one. Damn, thank you. Is it going to pop up three times? Actually, it might. That'd be kind of fun. Thank you for uh, the three months of the sub stick, Rick. Oh, appreciate it. I'll check uh, after to make sure, but let's go to the extraction. So what? how it works is we get to the extraction, then it just starts the next mission. But it's, it's in the same tile set, I think. But we'll see if it ends up teleporting us like to a different tile set. Oh, I guess it actually just uh, teleports us into another tile set. So it mission completes us, and then we go into the next one. Okay. Oh, did you see that? I got a little arcane adapter. I can turn my face cam back on. Boom. We're back. How's it going, Ruben? So that was mission number one. That was the exterminate. We need to complete all three of them in a row, or else we fail. I... Yeah. So we're done one. One Deep Archimedia, round one, complete. 
Reward received, Melee Arcane Adapter. Awesome. If you don't fully complete it every week, you still get, like, reward progress like that, right? Like, what you just saw. So it's like, it could be worse. So what we want to do is we just want to get Toxin and Lightning. You can throw down your Arc Gun. And since you can use Spectres, you can buff yourself with Spectres, chat. So it's important to know that, uh, in case anyone was wondering. Remember, grab these, throw them over. Grab all of them that you can possibly can. I'll just do this. Because honestly, this is probably all I need to do. It's still fairly easy, so no problem. The disruption at the end is the one I'm really worried about. Because I don't want it to fail us. I imagine it's just going to be we need to complete eight disruption nodes. And there's not a big failure state. But I don't know for sure. Still a little scared. But it's not a big deal. Right, let me do this. Let me enthrall some enemies so it's not a big deal. That's uh, a toxin. Toxin. Lightning, I think, was down here. Yeah. I can always uh, do that if I need to run away and be a little scaredy. But... My shield's getting knocked down a bit here, huh? Getting shot at. Getting bullied. See, so that's why you don't want to kill them too far. Because now we're just, like, shuttling them to and fro. Okay, I'll wait for them to infect everyone over there. <laughs> My ultimate plan. It worked. Swimmingly chat. Oh, nice. See, that's not uh, too bad. There's no real time limit on alchemy missions, no. The biggest thing you might want to be kind of scared of and be wary of is dying. Because, uh, not good to die. Stay near your teammates. Try not to die too much. Because I don't know if this is one of those missions where the more you die, the... Oh, oh, he walked in front of that. That was... Okay. I don't know if this is the type of thing where the more you die, the, like, less revive time you start getting. Not sure. I'll change it to Fire Quill. Hysterix is a weapon where you can change the status on it at will. To the four base ones, I think. Okay, now we need more electric. There we go. So we just have to do two of these. The more you die, less time you get, down to five seconds. Okay, I assumed it was something like that, so try to be careful. I know a couple of my teammates have died a couple times. So we just gotta be careful around them. So this is the, oh my god. Don't hit it, please, dear god, don't waste our time. I hate this mission so much. Just wait until it gets to the ideal zone, and then hit it, and then we chill. You wait for it to load up in the ideal zone, and then when it's near the end, you hit the uh, pressure gauge. This one can be really annoying on Publix, because some people don't know how to do it. 
Uh, oh, it's outside of the ideal zone. Right, so now you hit one of the pressure gates. Hit a pressure gate. Oh, God, we both hit it. And then that's kind of the other issue is like, oh, no, we both hit one at one time. So if you're in, like, a designated party, not, like, a public type of thing, sometimes it's better to just uh, designate one person as the pressure popper. Or just stay near your teammates when popping the pressure like that. Because I think you can mess up... Nah, you probably can't mess up popping pressure. Okay, anyways. Yeah, either way, not bad. So now we just do, uh, cold and... Yeah. Cold and toxin. Oh, that one was popped already. You can use these to damage the enemies if you want. Uh, if you can hit them. Right, so watch this. Right? Kill them. You can do that. I'm doing my part. Damage in. Yeah, so try to stay near teammates in case people get downed. Get that big combo. Kill all the enemies. Getting like no cold. Yeah, we have terrible luck. That's all. You can uh, dish out so much damage with just throwing these though, so. If you don't have a good weapon and you're running an alchemy, don't worry about it. Nice, there's a cold right here. Nice! It's worth come back to Warframe? Yeah, it's a pretty good game. It's a pretty good game. To start the new game mode, you just uh, go say hi to Necroloid on the new area. He is right above Humanloid. So, yeah. Okay, another Frost, another Frost. Yeah, everyone's pretty on top of reviving each other. We're all at least paying attention, staying close to each other. So we're not doing too bad. Not too bad at all. I think the run's only going to take about 30, 40 minutes. Depending. Oh my god, I can't see anything. Gonna 
gun him down, chat. Gun down the evil enemy mech. No, choices are random every week. Uh, I, I assume it's stuff you already own, though. I can't confirm it, but I assume. There we go. So we just gotta get them all. Okay, we have all of those. Now we just need cold. I think it gets a little easier once you have one in. Like, it just starts, they start dropping more cold. But that could be me just crazy. Probably just me being crazy. Okay, well that's two almost done. We'll have to do the little pressure relief thing after. But that's not bad, right? This is a one week thing. I don't think it'll rotate hourly. No, the frames will stay per week, so. You have like your week to build up your Warframes, add Forma if you want to. Build up and then run regular and then Elite Deep Archimedia. Yes. Humans are, like, by nature a little crazy. This is the latest Warframe, I guess, endgame game mode, if you will. Deep Archimedia. Oh, oh I'm so sorry, buddy. I didn't know your little face was down there. I booped his snoot with my foot by accident. How you do this, the ideal pressure thing, is maintain ideal pressure range. Hit the pressure relief things when it gets near the top. Yeah, it's just a little boop on his snoot. So yeah, you want to always hit those pressure relief valves when you're like, it's near the end. Oh shit, sorry. That was a little early. Didn't notice I got that other one first. And then the pressure can go up and down, so you gotta pay enough attention. Nice, nailed it. Ooh, 700 meters. Okay, last mission is the disruption. So this is a double disruption, meaning the enemies will spawn up two disruptors, so we have to kill them. Best if we do this together as a team and, like, kill one disruptor at a time. Because it's not like I have the best slows or anything. Because I'm a revenant, I have nothing. But hey, this is Deep Archimedia, yes. Yes, it is. Welcome, welcome. Pretty interesting game mode. You can throw on call crew again, so it makes things a billion times easier. Would recommend, would recommend. You cannot, uh, I cannot at least use Operator Drifter this time, so that sucks. But hey. Amber Archon Shard, everybody. Riven Sliver and Trotty Lanthorn. Nice. Okay, one more. We got this, chat. We'll do Deep Arc Media after I eat. After.
So this is the disruption. Is it solo only? No, Warframe's a multiplayer game. You're good on that one, luckily. Yay, we got the Amber Archon Shard. Oh, I don't have energy decrease. Oh. Uh, uh. Okay, so there's eight dockets total. I think, like, you have uh, some leeway to mess up, but it's obviously best not to mess up a ton. Oh my, oh jeepers. Like, ah, my health got decreased too much. Okay, I'll go with uh, you to get the white one. See, hopefully we can do this. Uh, two of them spawn. So, I'm terrified. Wait. Best we do it all together. Oh my god. See, it's so far. Yeah, this one we might end up failing, so we'll have to wait and see. Oh no, this isn't that bad. They do not have as much health as I thought they would. They're tanky, but it's not as bad. I could all, uh, you can always throw down your arc gun, everybody, remember? No matter what, you have your arc gun. So keep that in mind, chat. You can always have your arc gun and your uh, team of specters, so keep that in mind. It helps a ton. Specters and arc guns, you can get a Dante to buff you and your entire team as a specter so you don't die. Right? Yeah. Nice. So I'm gonna use my moss lawn here, use it out a bit, see how that goes. Okay, probably good to just pop the conduit. Oh good, they're both right here, that makes this way easier. Yeah, if you have, like, your stronger weapons and you're good to, like, one-shot everything, like, do it, of course. I wish I had some stronger weapons uh, picked this week. Everything of mine, I reformed and built because of uh, this. Because it was all zero built, essentially. Oh, that one just had an energy. No! The one with the key got away. Dang. Um, uh, is just a decent weapon overall. Ok, 
Okay. Oh my god. Twitch is cursed like that sometimes. Sorry, sorry. Let's go, let's go. Got you two, we got Twitch. Ooh, so many. Okay, one more. Oh, and we have the key right there. Oh no, four more, or five more after, sorry. So it's like two rounds of disruption. So, I mean the mission's hard, it's a high level. This is not elite Deep Arc Media, this is regular Deep Arc Media. We'll do elite and it'll be up for a video tomorrow. I'm just gonna like eat food and stuff after, oh. Yeah, that's the annoying thing, is the uh, the mechs can always be really tanky, the demos, right? The DR they work off of, so strong. One round complete. Prime, yeah, not yet, not yet. Lead status effects, one friend life leash on all hits. Oh, so good. Okay, we're good now. Okay, I think that's supposed to be our fifth. Yeah, that'll be our fifth one. Yeah, we're almost done. So this is a uh, this will take about forty five minutes in total for us. Arc gun OP. Yeah, if you have warframes to slow, of course the demos. Helps a lot. There we go. Make sure to always revive your teamwork, uh, teammates, because teamwork is friendship. The new game mode? No, it's a proper Warframe mission. It's like a sortie, but different and harder. I'm so sorry, buddy. I keep forgetting you're down there. I'm so sorry, Ruben. I keep booping his head because I go to put my foot down.
There's my Protea. Always use Spectres on Call Crew. Good job, six out of eight, everybody. Not too shabby. Oh, does someone have one for that? So we haven't picked one up yet, huh? I do get a little annoyed at how bad the demo drop rates are for the keys. Sorry, the key drop rates, not the demo. Okay, blue. Oh, it's okay, go say hi, Ruben. You can use Arc Gun, you can use Arc Gun, you can use your Necromech, because you can spawn it. So far, so far. God, this one's so far. Oh my, I think we'll have to walk all the way back too. I'm just gonna give them a minute, like half a minute to get over here. Oh, there's my specter. Okay, they're both here. Okay, one more left. Yeah, we got patch notes up. Dante was nerfed, everybody. It's a, it was a big update, okay? A big update time. A lot of things happened. I'm just gonna go run over here. It's our last one, and then that's one deep Archimedia done, and chat can judge me as they will. I'm gonna check to see if I have different items that I need for elite deep arc media, but yeah, we'll see. I just have such terrible weapons. They're not weapons I use, they're not like fully modded at all. Oh well. I think you'll be able to do Elite Archimedia right after. I'll check though to make sure. Spin actually might have been decent enough damage. Hey, we did it, chat. Hey, congrats, everyone. 
daily reminder to subscribe, like, and use Epic Games creator code Pubsker, of course, if you want to support the channel. I am an Epic partner, and I have, you know, all the social medias in all the descriptions. So, let's check out what all of the loot we get is. And I'll have the Deep Arc Media Elite run video probably the day after the Deep Arc Media. Because... It takes a while to get everything, right? I believe you'll be able to do Elite Deep Arc Media right after your regular Deep Arc Media. Of course, assuming you enabled every multiplier and have all of the status points. So, yeah. We got our melee arcane adapter. We got some arcane, or sorry, archon shards. Good job. Congrats. Right? Boom. Archon Amber, two melee arcane, energy nexus, and trotty lanthorns. Even more loot. That, everybody, is deep Archimedia 100% of the way through. Again, here's Lloyd. And now, you can tick on Elite Deep Archimedia, which is the exact same, but now you can get Vosphor. You can get a reward pool of Archon, Melee, Tau Force Shards, right? You can get one of Melee Arcane Adapter, I think that's what that is. Or a tarf, Tau Forge Archon Shard. Oh, and uh, 50 more Vosphor. So you can, like, disable one of these if you don't care about Vosphor. I don't personally care about Vosphor. So I would probably take off the Transference, because I just like using Transference. But it doesn't really matter, so I'll probably keep that on. But I will have my Deep Archimedia Elite Deep Archimedia video out the day after the full run of the original Deep Archimedia. So, yeah, thank you.